The Baltimore Ravens, I keep arguing with a lot of my friends, telling people that the Baltimore Ravens are going to be legit Super Bowl contenders. And everybody keeps going on with these same overblown narratives that, man, JT, you know that the Ravens always fold when it matters the most. This is the most talented team that the Baltimore Ravens have had in a very long time. I was listening to Coach Harbaugh doing an interview with Chuck Pagano on the 33rd team. He's really excited about this year's team. They got a really good offensive line. They got Lamar Jackson re-signed. They got Lamar some weapons at receiver, Zay Flowers, OBJ. You got Mark Andrews. You got Rashad Bateman. This is a really good offense, especially when you add in the fact that they have Todd Munkin at offensive coordinator. Todd Munkin is really going to unlock Lamar Jackson. Like A lot of you guys, when you judge rosters, you look at it from a casual standpoint. You just look at the death chart and you're like, oh, they have him, they have him, they have him. But you never take time to look at the coaching. The coaching is one of the most underlooked things that many people don't take time to research when it comes to figuring out how good a team's going to be. A lot of teams that make it to the Super Bowl oftentimes have their coaching staffs raided. Look at Philadelphia. They lost both their offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator who are both head coaches. Todd Munkin is a damn good offensive coordinator. I was going back with one with one, with one person in the comment section last week who was saying, man, Todd Munkin, he was good at Georgia, but he wasn't good in the NFL when he was the OC for the Cleveland Browns. Listen, bro, Todd Munkin never called plays when he was the OC for the Browns. Freddie Kitchens did. He was stubborn. That's why the Browns ultimately were not good, and Freddie Kitchens got fired after one year. When Todd Munkin called plays for... The one season that he was actually legitimately the play caller in Tampa, Tampa Bay had the number one passing attack in the NFL with Ryan Fitzpatrick and Jameis Winston. I'm trying to tell y'all boys, man, like, this isn't really an opinion. This is kind of factual. Todd Munkin is going to elevate this passing game. I'm telling y'all, it's going to happen. I'm not really saying that my opinion is facts, but if you go and you look at Todd Munkin's rap sheet, this dude knows how to elevate offenses. He knows how to elevate quarterbacks. This dude led Georgia to two back-to-back -back national titles, calling plays with the walk-on QB. Do you not know how hard that is to do? How many offensive coordinators in college football are able to have that level of success with the walk-on quarterback? Not too many. This dude is a really gifted play caller. Coach Harbaugh said when he was interviewing Todd Munkin, he was absolutely blown away with his vision on offense and what he wanted to implement. And another thing that really impressed Coach Harbaugh about Todd Munkin is the fact that his offense wasn't really based and predicated on one thing. This dude knows how to adapt. That's scary. Lamar Jackson damn near might win a second MVP this season, man. Y'all see that blanket that I got in the background? Y'all know I'm a Steelers fan. You know I love my Steelers. You know I'd rather die for my Steelers, man. But I'm giving credit where it's due. I really think that the AFC is going to come down to either the Bengals or the Baltimore Ravens this season. It's going to be Kansas City in the AFC Championship. And then you're either going to have the Bengals or the Baltimore Ravens in that game. And I could be definitely wrong about this, but one thing that I know for sure that I'm not going to be wrong about is how good the Baltimore Ravens are this season. As long as everybody stays healthy, this is going to be one of the best teams in the NFL. Shoot, every time Lamar Jackson is healthy, the Baltimore Ravens are almost always amongst one of the best teams in the AFC from a record standpoint. Once he gets injured, that's when things start going left. But when Lamar is healthy, the Baltimore Ravens win, and they win pretty often. And you give Lamar Jackson a legitimate offensive coordinator that knows how to elevate quarterbacks and knows how to get the most out of his personnel and get the most out of the wide receivers in the passing game, that's scary. And you know the run game's still going to be there. John Harbaugh said himself, like, they still aren't going to be going away from running the football. They're still going to be a damn good Rushing team. 
They're just not going to run the ball as much. They're going to be way more balanced. But the Baltimore Ravens are legit Super Bowl contenders. And let's not just get stuck on the offense. Did y'all not forget that this was, did y'all not remember that this was a top 10 defense last year? And Mike McDonald's first year as a defensive coordinator for this team? They struggled a little bit out the gate, but they got better as the season progressed. Man, I'm getting too excited right now, man. Like, I got spit coming out my mouth and everything, but this team had a top 10 defense last year. They have one of the best defenses in the AFC. This is one of the most complete teams in this conference. And it really annoys me that some of y'all trying to downplay Baltimore because of what they've done in the past. Stop tripping on the past. I don't care if Lamar Jackson folded against the Buffalo Bills. I don't care if the Ravens got upset by the Tennessee Titans the year he won MVP. That was how many years ago? It's 2023 the last time I checked. A couple years ago, I didn't have dreads. Everything can change within the span of a couple of years. They don't have Greg Roman calling plays anymore. They don't have Wink Martindale on the staff. Like the Baltimore Ravens team that a lot of you guys are thinking about is not the same team that's going into this season. I don't know how much I have to stress this out to you people. This is a different Ravens team that you are about to see this year and it's going to blow your mind. You're going to be like, damn, like when did the Ravens start Going crazy like this on the offense. When did they start airing the football out like this? When did Lamar Jackson become this good of a passer? And you're going to come back to this channel. You're going to come back to these segments that I've been releasing all offseason about how good the Ravens are going to be. You're going to be like, man, JT, you were right. You were right about the Baltimore Ravens. And I'm not saying that to be cocky. I'm just saying that because this is a really good team. And this is a really good staff. That John Harbaugh has assembled. This man went out and got Todd Munkin. Todd Munkin was in high demand. There were a lot of teams that wanted Todd Munkin. John Harbaugh and the Ravens organization, they did a extensive search for their new offensive coordinator. They talked to coaches who were under Sean McVay's coaching tree. They talked to a lot of other good, highly touted offensive coordinators that many teams wanted. Todd Munkin is going to elevate this offense to the point that it may end up being a top five offense in the NFL this season. This defense is still going to be an elite defense. The Ravens have normally always had a really good defense as long as they didn't have too many injuries holding them back. You got Adolfi Owe, who should end up having a breakout season. You got David Ojabo, who pretty much is going into his rookie season, even though last year he technically was a rookie, but he didn't get the play because of the injury that he was coming from or that he was trying to rehab from. So now you got more help at the pass rush position. You got a really good linebacker unit and Roquan Smith. Patrick Queen is now starting to come around. You got Rocky Sin. Marlon Humphrey at cornerback, Marcus Williams and Kyle Hamilton are one of the best safety tandems in the NFL. This Ravens team is legit Super Bowl contender this year, man. I'm trying to tell y'all boys, stop sleeping on this Ravens squad. Why do y'all keep being so stubborn with me on this, man? Why do y'all keep talking about history? Stop talking about history, man, and talk about what's in front of you right now. What's in front of you right now? There's no way that you can't look at this team and not tell me that this isn't a Super Bowl caliber roster. Please tell me this isn't a Super Bowl caliber team. I want you to. I want you to. And I promise to God, I will argue your point down. We can get on the phone right now. We can have the live call-in show going, and I can end up debating y'all and telling y'all why this is a Super Bowl caliber roster. This is one of the most complete teams in the NFL. As long as everybody stays healthy, the Baltimore Ravens should be in the Super Bowl conversation. I don't know why y'all keep down on Lamar Jackson. This brother wins. Every time he's on the field, he wins. He may not do it consistently in the playoffs, but he only has he only has played in a handful of playoff games. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Y'all better start sleeping on the Ravens. These boys coming for real. Big trust. You better trust that Todd Munkin, T-Money. That's going to be my new nickname for Todd Munkin. From now on, his new name is T-Money. 
Because that's what the Ravens offense is going to look like this year every time they take the field. Money. This is a damn good team. And it really kind of irritates me that a lot of people keep trying to push back against this. They keep trying to say, oh, JT, well, you got to worry about the injuries. Like, bro, you cannot predict injuries. OBJ didn't play at all last season. He had all last year to get healthy and rehab. I'm getting tired of y'all trying to use injuries as an excuse to downplay teams. You cannot predict injuries. You got to quit. You got to look at teams for what they can be with the guys that they actually have on the field. And even if OBJ gets injured, they still got Zay Flowers. They still got Mark Andrews. They still got Rashad Bateman. They still have plenty of weapons that can kill you. Hell, I, I almost forgot about Isaiah Likely. Come on, man. J.K. Dobbins, the Gus Bus, Gus Edwards. You know, I had a homie of mine that tried to tell me that Gus Edwards wasn't an impact player. I said, bro, are you crazy? Gus Edwards averages over five yards per carry. That's how I know some of y'all don't be watching the Ravens for real, man. Since when was a running back that averaged over five yards per carry not an impact player? Man, y'all gotta chill, man. Y'all got man, y'all got me sweating in this mug. Y'all really don't think the Baltimore Ravens are legit Super Bowl contenders, man? And y'all know I love me some Joe Burrow. Y'all know I'm effed up about Joe Burrow. For real. One thing about Joe Burrow, every time you get the you get to the playoffs and the game is on the line, he comes through. Same thing with that defense and that coaching staff. But that's the thing. Cincinnati has a really good coaching staff. Their two coordinators were interviewed for head coaching jobs. You look at Baltimore staff, they're just as good as Cincinnati. That's the thing. Like, it's not just all about talent. It's also about the coaching staff. And the coaching staff that John Harbaugh has assembled is really good. I'm a little bit jealous. I'm a Steelers fan. You know who the hell we got as our OC? We got Matt Canada. I still think we're going to be a playoff team, but I don't think we're going to be a Super Bowl caliber team. Maybe next year, depending on how much we improve and if we end up moving on from Matt Kennedy, that offensive coordinator, depending on how he performs this year. But the Baltimore Ravens, man, like they got a chance to not only win the AFC North, but they also have a chance to beat Kansas City for the AFC. Lamar finally has a team that's capable of being able to match up talent for talent, mano a mano, with Patrick Mahomes. You can probably argue and say that Lamar Jackson's supporting cast is better than Patrick Mahomes' supporting cast. Name me one player on Kansas City's offense, at least that wide receiver, that's better than anybody that the Ravens have right now. Outside of Travis Kelsey. And let's not act like Mark Andrews isn't a top three tight end. He's a lead tight end in his own right. He ain't, no, he ain't on Travis Kelsey's level, but he's up there. Like, there's not one wide receiver other than Travis Kelsey, and you really can't count him because he's a tight end, but there's not one weapon that Kansas City has in the passing game outside of Kelsey that's better than anybody that the Ravens have starting right now. Be honest. Come on, man. Like, why y'all sleeping on this team? Why are y'all counting out Lamar Jackson? This brother wins. This brother's prime time. This dude shows up in big games. Playoff success can always change. Y'all make it seem like a quarterback has to go to the Super Bowl every single year. Not everybody is Patrick Mahomes. It's the first time for everything. This is probably the best chance that the Ravens have had at winning the Super Bowl ever since they beat the San Francisco 49ers. What was that, a decade ago? Come on, man. Like, why y'all keep pushing back on the Ravens? I don't understand it. I don't understand why I get so much pushback when it comes to how good the Baltimore Ravens are. This team is not overrated. They're rated properly where they should be legitimate Super Bowl contenders. And I will argue with you all day about this. I don't know how long this segment's been going on, man. It at least got to be close to 20 minutes. But I think by now, y'all should get the point. This team is way too talented for you to not have them in the Super Bowl conversation. They're one of the best teams in the AFC. You're talking about a team that has the talent to go on the road and beat Patrick Mahomes and Arrowhead? The Ravens have that. They have a good defense. 
They're going to have a really good pass rush that can get Patrick Mahomes off the field. The AFC, I believe, is going to come down to the Chiefs, the Bengals, the Ravens, or either the Jets. I think a lot of y'all are really overlooking the Baltimore Ravens, man. The Ravens are legitimate Super Bowl contenders this year. I don't know how hard I got to keep going to try to get this through some of y'all brains. Some of y'all are just some of y'all guys are just so stubborn. Like, why do some of y'all just refuse to acknowledge that the Ravens are that good of a team? It may sound crazy to think, but some of y'all still keep talking about Greg Roman and this dude got relieved of his play calling duties when the offseason first started. Some of y'all need to go do y'all research. Y'all be quick to tell me when I need to go do my research on things. But yet, some of y'all don't even do y'all research. And you're going to tell me to do my research. Some of y'all need to go do y'all research, man. Honk assignment. Go look at Baltimore's coaching staff and go look at what they acquired this offseason. From their coaching staff hires, from the players that they've acquired in free agency and via the draft. I'm tired of y'all sleeping on the Baltimore Ravens. When are y'all going to wake up? Man, JT, we got to wait for the game to be played. Like, no, you don't. Some of y'all can just look at a team and look at their coaching staff and be able to tell. You don't need to wait for the games to be played to know that Lamar Jackson is going to have this team in the playoff conversation. This dude's a winner. He wins the majority of the games that he starts in. He doesn't lose all too often. The only time the Baltimore Ravens season starts to go downhill is when he gets injured. And if Lamar Jackson stays healthy, this team is most definitely going to be in the Super Bowl conversation.